So while we're in the radio room, let's take a quick look around. The controls there, left hand side is an inverter to provide uh, AC power for some of the equipment when the generator is not running. It's not a powerful inverter. The three switches are the extract and intake fans uh, mounted on the side of the vehicle and the right hand box was used with the teleprinter. Down here we have an indicator that there is power available from the system. The light here tells us power is available and uh, that would indeed switch on the station so we push it. Going around the room, top right is the NBC pump. This pressurizes the cabin so that uh, we, uh, we don't get uh, things leaching in from the outside. Underneath that is the central heating control box. The central heating is petrol burning. Then we have a 600 ohm oscillator and line level meter. Followed by the main receiver, that's an R160. Followed by the operator's control panel. And we'll be looking at that in more detail when we operate the station. Followed by the exciter for the station. That's a 1 to uh, 60 megahertz, 20 milliwatt multimode exciter. Above that is the R326M, uh, a variable tunable receiver. Next to that is the R161, uh, which is the frequency hopping control. And next to that is the antenna tuning control. Through the doors here, on the right, we have the antenna coupling cabinets for both HF and uh, VHF all tucked away nicely there and on the left we have the HF power amplifiers uh, one on the left being the HF amplifier and the one on the right being the VHF amplifier and they split at approximately 30 megahertz the HF amplifier does 1 to 30 and the VHF amplifier does 30 to 60 and at the bottom of each amplifier is a power supply. One provides the HTs, 2600 and 300 volts, and the other provides all of the LTs. The little box on top is the mains control panel. This has a, a number of relays and timers in there, including the timers which uh, predetermine how long you have to keep the station running when you shut it down so that it cools down properly and how long you have to wait before you can operate the station when you switch it on.